Go ahead, go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry, I had trouble hearing you. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah, hi. Who's this? I'm calling for the Colorado Police Officers Foundation. Who oh, a reason for my I come from a police family. Uh, that, that's great. You called. Yes, sir. Reason for my call is the foundation. They just kicked off their new fund drive. It's a paid fundraiser for residential programs. We're sending out the brand new pledge kit and window decal for all the supporting residents. Now, the goal for the drive is to help provide financial support to the families of officers who have been killed in the line of duty and the PTSD counseling for the first responders. Now, sir, when you receive your pledge kit and decal... Chris, uh, uh, Chris, people, Chris, take a breath, buddy. I wanna, I'm, I'm interested. How much do you need? Okay, well, yeah, they do have some different amounts. Uh, the top two spots for the drive are the gold sponsor at $55 and the silver at 45 which one would be most comfortable for you? Well, geez. Oh, God, the assumption close. I love it. <laughs> Can I just ask you a few questions first? No, I was just saying uh, the goal for the drive is to help provide financial support. to the. Yeah, I got that. You said that already. Is that is that, Chris, is that 55 per month or a one-time thing, or how does it work? Uh, you know, that's a really good question. I don't have you, the answer to that. Well, you can't you can't do fundraiser unless you have the answers, Chris. Uh, how do I give you the money, Chris? Chris, this. Yeah, what happened to Chris? You were transferred to me. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, ma'am. You were transferred to me. Why? I like Chris. Did you have any questions about the organization? You didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. I was just. Um. Uh, I. I wanted to know how much to send. Is it per month or is it once per year? It's once a year. Oh. Okay. And uh, who do I send it to? How do I do that? Um. We can send you out a pledge kit through the mail, which would have a free address return envelope. Oh. Okay. And it's uh one time. It's the gold is fifty five. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. And uh, the name of the organization, who do I make the check out to? It's the Colorado Police Officer Foundation. And is that a nonprofit? Uh, just one second, I'll look that up for you. You don't know that? You don't know who you're working for? It's a nonprofit 501c3. Oh, good. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, and what's their, and what's their Colorado registration number? You're the supervisor. You're the supervisor. How come you don't know? No, sir. They don't have that in here for us. Well, why not? You're the supervisor. You should know your own Fort Knob. Let me ask you this. Uh, what percentage of the money goes to the police officer's family? Our instructions are to tell everyone a minimum of 10% goes to the cost. However, for more detailed information on the percentage, you're, I do have a toll-free number you may call. I don't want to call a toll-free number. I want to send you money now. you got to know what you're selling, ma'am. Don't you know? So only 10% of the money goes to the police officers. Where's the other 90% go? That's just our instructions to tell everyone no less than 10% goes to the cost. The percentage does not change depending on the cost. Okay. Um, we can send you out a toll-free number if you would like. Yeah, but where's the other 90% go? I know, I know, you're stroking me really nicely. I like that. How come you don't have any answers to the tough questions? You don't know the corporation. You switched me over from Chris. You don't know the registration number. And 90% of the money goes, you're, interrupt, you're interrupting me while I was talking, ma'am. Can I finish my question? Go ahead. Why does 90% of the money go to you and only 10% to the police officers? I don't want to provide you with any boy, that's the only boy. You're not the smart. You're not the brightest light bulb on the Christmas tree, are you? They only give us certain answers to certain questions. But you're the supervisor. You get twenty cents an hour more, don't you? No, sir. What were you doing before this job? Running the French fry machine? No, sir. What were you doing before this? You 
you have any other questions about the organization? I did, but you can't answer them. You don't know what you're selling. You don't know what you're talking about. And you're probably a dishonest person for trying to rip off people, especially police officer survivor families, by taking 90% of their 90% of the donated money and you you keep the 90% and you give 10%. Shame on you. How, how do you sleep at night? I know. You don't know the answer to that question and you don't want to give the wrong information. Have a nice day. You know, I love torturing telemarketers. Maybe you'll take me off your list. And that's what you do. Maybe I spend way too much time on this, but I figure if I torture enough telemarketers, maybe they'll quit and get a good job. And maybe they'll get a job that really does help police officers survive their families. But these people are crooks. Bye-bye.